I hate selfies. I'm a woman for Bernie for a lot of reasons. I've recently written about the fact that I spent three years of my life taking care of a man, a good friend of mine, who was having a psychotic breakdown. Um, this took three years of my life. Um, it was a lot of pain. Um, I went through a lot of emotional abuse, theft. Um, because I loved someone who would have otherwise been on the street and um, been dead very soon. And the reason for that is that the times that I had him committed um, or helped him to go into a mental institution, they kept him for five days. And each time the doctor said to me, I want him to stay, but the insurance company will only let him be here for five days. And they gave him antidepressants, which do not help with psychosis. And they kicked him out. One time I spoke for, to his doctor for an hour. I told her all about my friend's background, his childhood, um, everything that had led up to this breakdown and what was happening now and what I feared would happen in the future. She was thoroughly convinced that he needed very, very, very um, important help. And she tried and tried, begged the insurance company to let him um, have some more help. And they said no. And that's who decides who uh, lives or dies in this country. It's the insurance companies. And it did not matter that um, he had been paying into the insurance and his um, company had been paying into the insurance. And of course, as you might imagine, um, he lost his job and um, had no insurance. And then I was alone um, and couldn't get any help at all. Um, no antidepressants even. So um, he went in and out of jail. I couldn't help that. He drank, um, abused me verbally. Um, when he was in jail, things got worse. He watched people kill themselves and die. Um, we know that Bernie will uh, work very hard to change the system of injustice that we now have and that some of these things will change as well. Right now, our system of injustice uh, contains 60% of the mentally ill in this country. And that is not um, where we need to be containing them, is we need to be helping them out. Um, in fact, my friend uh, worked for some time, or uh, I don't know, a few pennies a day, um, helping or feeding the mentally ill who were in solitary confinement because that is what they do with them in prison. Um, they take a mentally ill person and they put them in the one place which is going to, which would make a completely healthy person absolutely insane. Um, he was horrified. He was disgusted. He was terrified. Um, and this is why he wouldn't let me tell them. Um, at any trial that he was mentally ill because he knew what they would do to him. Um, he eventually got on his feet. It was a lot of money, a lot of money that I borrowed from my parents. Um, and he now has a job and he's, 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 he has his own life. He's not in my life. I'm, I'm happily, I'm free right now, but I lost three years and that shouldn't have happened. Um, he should have had help. He should have healed much more quickly. Um, to tell you the truth, I think it's going to happen again. I do. I'm sorry. I just do. And um, if he had mental health help, I think it could be prevented. Um, I love my friend. And there are incidents which make him crazy, which make him psychotic, and it's not his fault. Um, and I'm going to be honest. I saved him from death a lot of times this time. I'm not going to be there next time. I can't do it. I don't have the strength. I don't think he's going to make it next time. I don't think so. Not without Medicare for all. Not without a health care system that cares. It takes care of him. Whether or not he's got a job. I mean, if you get sick, you lose your job. And then you lose your health care, whatever you might have had. I'm for Bernie for a lot of other reasons as well. It isn't just 
Medicare for all. But that is one of the things that is really the most important for this country because our people are dying. I mean, they're, they're dying. They're, this, isn't, this isn't supposed to be a third world country. There is a lot of money in this country. There is plenty of money for everybody to have a good life, to have decent clothes and, and decent food and decent schools and decent health care. And simply to, to be able to live with, without being in misery. Let me just say, there's another reason that I'm for Medicare for All, and that is that um, I am, I'm disabled. I'm on uh, Medicaid. And Medicaid has covered absolutely everything that I have needed, whether it was glasses, whether it was dentist, whether it was whatever, nose surgery, um, because I had a broken nose, um, everything, they covered everything. And I actually, um, Medicare for all is going to be Medicaid for all. I'm, it's, it's just a toxic word. Um, it's really what it's going to be because Medicaid for all, you don't pay Medicare right now. You do. Um, okay. So I'm for Bernie because he is going to help us to fix the terrible systems of injustice we have that put so many wonderful people, including such important, intelligent people of color in jail. When my friend was in jail, I, I learned a lot. I listened to him and I read a lot. And I, you know, people don't understand that three quarters of the people in jail are not, they have not been found guilty of any crime. People don't care that people in jail suffer, but they're not necessarily guilty. They're arrested for things which may be completely unfounded. They may be on hearsay. They may be because the police officer wanted to arrest someone. Um, they haven't always been charged with a crime. My friend, at one point, when he hadn't committed a crime, was accused of committing a crime. And he was put in jail. And it was not until four months later that the question even came up whether he would be charged with that crime. And he was not charged with that crime because there was no evidence for it. And they put him in there for four months. Jail kills you. It kills you whether other inmates kill you or whether you kill yourself. Jail kills you because you have a life and you get thrown into this place where you have nothing anymore. And your your family, they lose the money. They, they cannot survive. They may leave you. Um, you lose your job. Of course, you lose your car. You lose your home. You lose everything when you didn't do anything wrong, except in many cases have the wrong skin color. The, our system of, of injustice is, is something else which makes me very passionate, as you can tell. What else is Bernie going to do? Bernie, he's going to do everything. I mean, it sounds kind of crazy when you really add it all up, all of the things he said he's going to do. But the thing is, he's the only candidate who says, you know, I can't do it. You all have to do it. And, you know, we're the ones who know what needs to be done, right? Bernie's never been in jail. He's, he doesn't know personally what has to be done. He's not going to personally go and, and negotiate or whatever has to be done. He is going to he's going to hire the people that know what they're doing. Unlike so many presidents, he's going to hire us. We who know what needs to be done for everything that needs to be done. He's going to find the people who know how because we do know how there's plenty of people who know how. And he's going to turn to those people and say, you figure it out. We'll talk. You're going to get the money. It's going to happen. The right things are going to happen, whether it's climate change. And I haven't even stopped, talked about climate change. Um, when, you, when it comes to climate change, um, and this is very serious, Bernie is the only person in the entire world who can save the world. I'm going to say that again because it is it is the most important truth maybe right now at all. Bernie is the only person in the world 
who can save the world. Normally, that would be kind of a crazy thing to say, but Trump has endangered the world in so many ways. And of course, our uh, greedy corporations as well. Um, but part of the problem right now in the world is that is that we have simply alienated our allies and they are not going to... We cannot do what it takes to take care of, of our problems without allies. And Bernie is not going to alienate our allies and he is not going to, to kiss the dictators. Um, he is going to put in this Green New Deal with all kinds of people running it who know what they're doing. And the jobs are going to be plentiful. The few jobs that we lose out of the few coal mines that are still operating in dangerous conditions, which, which kill our, our brothers and sisters and fathers and whoever work there, those jobs are going to go, yeah, goodbye, because you're going to have safe job. You're going to have plentiful jobs. You're going to have jobs that do good in the world. You don't have to feel guilty about installing solar panels. And green jobs are expanding at something like 10 times the rate of any other kind of job. If you stop putting money into coal and gas companies and, and I mean, we give the money for Christ's sake. Stop that and put the money into things that are going to save our lives, everybody's lives, the whole plan. Okay. Um, there's so many reasons. I, I th Maybe I'll stop now. There's so many reasons. Women for Bernie. Um, people of color for Bernie. Um, sure, there's even some whites for Bernie. Um, some of us other whites need to talk to people in our family, in our neighborhoods to um, increase that number. Um, Bernie's going to win. I just want you to know that Bernie is going to win, but you have to help. But let me tell you why the polls don't matter. I know I just won't shut up, will I? The polls don't matter because they're not getting millennials or Generation Z. They're not. Who answers their phone who's under the age of 50? You don't answer it. You just don't. I don't answer my phone. I'm over 50. If, if you don't know who's, who is calling, you don't answer the phone because it's crazy to answer the phone. And so you're just not going to poll those people unless you text message. Bernie knows that. He texts us to tell us uh, when we need to contribute or help or whatever. You have to text message to get an accurate poll. And then you will see that Bernie is crushing every other candidate. But we still need to convince the people that believe the New York Times, like my parents, and the people that believe the polls, and the people that believe the TV. We still need to talk to them. Okay, I have to... I don't know if this is even too long to be on Twitter. Thanks for listening, and please work for Bernie, Bernie, vote for Bernie, and be a part of the huge movement to save all of the humans in this country and in the world. Huge movement. You are needed. You are needed. You know things. You can help. Bernie can't do it without you. Thank you for listening.